Man, it's been a long, long time, man. It's been a long time, long time, long time. How are y'all doing today? Man, so it's been a lot going on and Hoo-wee. I got I got a few things to talk about, man. Um probably gonna end up having to um make this a either a two part, three part, couple part videos. Um just cause my battery's dying. And I got my other one on the charger or whatever, so camera might die here in a minute. So anyway, with that being said, man, it's me, Huff. So keep it fit if you didn't know. Um Welcome to the channel. If you're new, subscribe. Um I don't know. I, just, I got a whole bunch of different topics that I'm gonna start talking about. Um maybe in this video. I'm going to get a, a lot of them off, and then as I remember them, I, I'll make some more videos. Um, biggest thing today with me is the most most relevant topic I can think about today, man, is uh, being consistent and um, sticking to things you say you're going to do, right? I guess my bigger topic for that would be what is your reasoning for hiring a personal trainer? Um... That's like the, I guess the top part. It's probably gonna be the title of the video, right? Why did you hire, why did you hire a personal trainer, or why do you feel like you need a personal trainer, right? And the second part of that is the sub subcategory, I guess, would be is why did you hire a personal trainer, and then you choose not to use them, right? So what I mean is, I see a lot of times where people get a trainer, and you don't use a trainer for everything that you could possibly, you know what I'm saying, get out of them. I mean, if you paid your money, right, and you have the option to, and the opportunity to ask this person any question about anything health and fitness related, and it is their job um, to go find out the answer. If they don't have it right then, it is their job to go figure it out. You know what I mean? And get back to you if they don't have it right then. But my thing is this, right? If you hire a trainer, so you're paying somebody money to answer your health and fitness questions, give you guidance, you know what I mean? Why is it that you would deviate from that, right? And then I've seen some people go as far as to, you deviate from, from the process, you deviate from the program, and then you wonder why you don't see any results, you don't see the results that you want, but then, in some cases, you have the audacity to blame your coach or your trainer. Okay. Let me give you a little bit of advice. Follow everything they tell you to do. Follow everything they tell you to do. I'm talking about to the T. And, you know, treat it like school. Go for the extra credit. Go for the extra credit, man. You know what I mean? Like, if they tell you to do 10, do 12, do 11. You know what I mean? If it's five sets, make it six. You know what I mean? Or, or, or something like that. If they tell you to do 20 minutes, do 25, do 30. If they tell you to do four sets of abs, do five. You know what I mean? Do that. If they tell you this is the this is the diet or this is the calories, this is the macro, stick to it. And I mean stick to it. Cheat meal, cheat day. Not unless they tell you to. Stick to that. Stick to that. If you signed up for 30 days, stick to that them whole 30 days. And then see if you get any results. Then at that point, if you do not, then you can start raising questions. But if you don't stick to the plan, and this was anything, if you don't stick to the plan, how do you expect it to work or how do you expect to get to the desired destination if you don't follow the guide it's like putting something in the gps right and then you just completely ignore the gps when it tells you to turn left turn right or whatever and you've never been to this place before you're going somewhere right that you've never been before in most cases most people that hire a personal trainer they don't have any, or they don't have a very, very well-versed background in 
health, fitness, working out, training, whatever the terminology is you want to use. They don't have a, a very versed knowledge in that. It's not very in-depth. Um, for lack of a better term, they don't really know shit about it. They don't know shit about working out. They don't know shit about wasting. They don't know shit about dieting at all. Because for the most part, if you did, you probably wouldn't need a personal trainer in the first place. But, you know what I mean? So, they're trying to go somewhere, take their body somewhere, take their physique somewhere, take their health somewhere that it hasn't been to before or it hasn't been to in a long time or it's been so long since they've been in shape or healthy that they don't even remember, which is the same thing is never, never going there in the first place, right? So you hire this, you hire this guy, right? I always tell my, I always tell people, I'm the GPS to your goals, but you still got to drive the car. I can tell you to make all the turns in the world to get to where you, your destination is. If you don't turn the car, when I tell you to turn left or when I tell you to turn right, <laughs> we're not going to get there. It's just that simple. So I guess my thing is it kind of blows my mind sometimes in certain situations of when I watch certain people or I hear certain things, hear certain stories, is you hire a personal trainer to not listen to them. You hire a personal trainer to go and do what you want to do. What did you hire them for? Like you hire them, they give you all this nutrition, you know what I'm saying? They give you all this stuff about nutrition, give you all this stuff, right? And you don't follow none of it. <clears throat> it's 24 hours in a day. You might come in and train for an hour and a half, maybe two hours at the most. That means you got 22 more hours to go fuck all of that up. And then some people don't even train on the weekend, so they treat that like, you know what I mean, like your regular work week. Your body don't have no off days. So if you bullshit, so if you if you work out Monday through Friday and then you bullshit Saturday, Sunday, you damn near are making every single Monday of every week the first day of working out, pretty much. You know what I mean? Especially if your goals is your physique comp composition and stuff like that. And this is for like average, I'm talking about the average Joe. I'm talking about the average person you know nine to five normal person you know we ain't talking about like bodybuilding and stuff like that i'm talking about the average person working out and you know what i mean you you can't take a full two days off in a row from the gym and from some type of a, a, a of a regimented diet or you can't take two days off from working out and just let your eating habits go to shit. You, you can't do both over the weekend. You ain't doing no cardio. You ain't lifting no weights. And you eating whatever you want both days. But you expect to see results from that. And you already have a slow metabolism, let's say. You already are holding fat or holding water or whatever the you know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck the case may be. You already, you, you walked into the situation already doing bad. And you taking two and a half steps forward to take five steps back all the time. And then you wonder why you're not seeing no results. You know what I mean? It's just, just stop. Just stop. You know what I mean? And then don't, don't be that rude or that insensitive or that disrespectful of their of our, of our time, you know what I mean. And I'm only saying out because I mean it's personal training, whatever. By personal training, fitness professional, whatever, you, whatever terminology you want to use, whatever. You signed up to get coached on how to do something you don't know how to do, but then you don't listen to the steps and the tricks and the you know guidelines to follow to get to what you're trying to do, and you wonder why you're not getting there. You know what I mean? And one of the biggest things you got to stop doing is thinking that it's, it, you can figure out a way to do it without working hard. I, I'll wait. If you can find somebody that has a nice physique and didn't have to work hard for it, I'll wait. Period. I'll wait. I don't give a damn if you have great genetics. You still have to work hard. 
at some point on some level, there is some hard work in there. There's some hard work involved. And that brings me to my next point. These damn teas and detoxes and all this other shit. Like, alright, cool. You want to do that shit to kickstart? Whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not mad at somebody doing whatever it was to get, at least get your first step in the right direction. Right? But stop turning that shit into your new pill. Stop turning that shit into your new drug. You know what I'm saying? You substituted drink alcohol for detox teas. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and waist trainers. And, and sweat, stomach wrap, whatever. I'm gonna tell you like this. This 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 the this is the thing that you have to realize, right? That shit ain't gonna last 30 years. People that have had a nice physique for 30, 40, 50 years, 20 years or better, 15 years straight. Not one of them got that shit from no damn tea, no fucking pills, no waist trainers, no sweat, whatever the fuck. None of that shit. They didn't get it from that. They did not get it from that at all, man. All that, all them teas and shit. I guarantee you, most people that most of the people that advocate them damn detox teas ain't even been doing this shit for twenty years. They have not been doing this shit for 15 to 20 years. None of them. They have less than 15 to 20 years in this shit. If at all. Because a lot of the shit you got is being, is being sold to you by celebrities. And people fail to realize, bro, a lot of the people have badass doctors. And they take the T's after they've already had the surgery. They've had liposuction, BBLs. Tummy tucks, all that shit. I'm not knocking you do whatever the fuck you want to do with your body, right? But it becomes a point of irresponsibility when you're trying to sell a product or you're pushing a product and you lying to people. Now, granted, I, right, hood side of me, whatever you want to call it, the business side of me, I'm not knocking your hustle, right? But at the same time, because this right here, this right here, this health shit is so near and dear to my heart. I got something to say about that. Cause I take this shit personal. You know what I'm saying? Like my 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 journey into this came through the death of my brother. So for me, it's like nah man, if you out here hood wicked people and all that other shit just turn a dollar, figure out another way to get a hustle, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I I don't know what to tell you to go do, but stop getting over on people. And even more important than that, people stop letting them get over on you. Stop letting them sell you these bullshit ass teas. And these fucking weak ass uh, uh, diet plans and shit. And, and, and like, oh my God. It's just so much bullshit that I keep seeing. Like, stop looking for the easy way out. Pick the hard way. Whatever's the hardest and what seems like it's going to suck ass the most, I guarantee you it's going to be the most effective. If you, if you fuck it, sign up for the AP class of working out. Sign up for the AP class of of, of, of a different um, eating regimen. You know what I'm saying? Like, sign up for that. You want some real results? Sign up for the AP class. Don't take the remedial class in this shit. Don't, don't take the remedial way out. You know what I mean? Like, bro, take the hard one. Take the hard road. Because at the end of the day, when you get done, when you get done... Favorite thing I like to see about say say to people is, when you get done with me, can a motherfucker tell you can tell you that you didn't earn it? Period. Like I said to my neos, man, can't nobody tell you you wasn't made right. You came after me. Period. Gonna make sure we are gonna get you right. <laughs> Bros know what I mean. Made right, stay right. If I made shit, that's a whole other topic, man. But. I'm just saying, man, like, y'all got to get away from that bullshit, man, and, and stop chasing the dream of the magic pill and stop letting the magic pill just morph into other shit. Like, detoxes, fat-burning teas, uh, uh, what else they got? Uh, colon cleanses, uh, uh, what else? Fucking, all this other shit. And then my question is with them detoxes, right? 
And I'm probably just gonna start going off on a tangent. And it, it just is what it is, bro. It's just gonna be a raw video. If you gotta keep taking a detox tea, maybe you need to start figuring out what the fuck is toxifying your ass in the first place. Did you ever think about that? If you gotta take a detox once a month, change what the fuck you putting in your body to to, de to toxify yourself in the first in the first place. If you have to detox, that's because you keep retoxifying yourself. Stop retoxifying yourself in the first place to where you don't need a detox. Your body will detoxify itself in the first place. And if you're not putting toxins in, you don't have to keep having these detox teas and shit and whatever. And these cleanses and all this other bullshit that ain't going to. So you're going to tell me you're going to keep taking detox teas for the next 30 years? You know what I mean? Like, and it's really sad when people in their 20s with shit like this. You in your 20s. You in your 20s. Having to turn to a detox tea? The fuck? It's called being lazy. It's called being lazy. People need to stop being scared to call that shit what it is. You being lazy. I'll be the first one to tell you. I done done it before. Sure the fuck have. Number one things I'm lazy about is cardio and abs. I will tell you in a minute. I don't do them and don't do them and proudly don't do them. I don't. But guess what else I can't bitch about? My stomach not being flat. Me not being lean enough to see my veins. Or the striations in my muscles. And me not having abs. That's the other thing about it. If you're going to be lazy enough to not do it. Don't have enough energy. You shouldn't have enough energy to bitch about not having the results that would come from you doing it. You're not doing it. Not apologize if I keep rolling my eyes. That's just, that's just my mannerism, but it is what it is, man. Like, if you're not gonna put in the work, don't bitch about not getting the results. That's the thing, man. Like, people be, and I hate hearing that shit. Oh, I wish I could. Fuck wishing. Do it. What's stopping you? If you able-bodied, what's stopping you besides this? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get it done. My motto that I got from my pops, the one that I named this after, Jared Tubbs, Soul Keeper. That's what the brothers know him as. I named my, my, my business, my company, my fitness, Soul Keeper Fit. The two things he told me to stuck with me in life is don't cheat and get it done. And my battery's running out, man, but don't cheat, man. Don't cheat yourself. Don't cheat those around you and don't cheat the process. Get it done means just that. Get it done. Well, shut the fuck up. Get it done. I, I don't care. I, I don't care. You either did it or you didn't. There is no in between. Man.